Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. So in today's video, we are going to be continuing our color scheme, decorating in a monochromatic style. And today we're gonna to be talking about gray. Decorating in a monochromatic style using gray and white. And I apologize, I am getting over a cold. So I'm sure you can hear it in my voice, but so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. And we're going to be focusing on how I have used gray and white in my living room. In my previous video, I talked to you about decorating in a monochromatic style using black and I featured my lounge area. So if you missed that video, I will leave that linked in the description box down below as well as in, in the iCards above so you can go take a look at that if you're interested in how to decorate in black and white. Black and white is my signature colors and I do incorporate your grays, your silvers, your glass, um, shiny metallics into my decorating scheme. So today that's what we're gonna be focusing on. We're gonna be talking about what I have done in the living room, creating a monochromatic, what I feel is a calming, relaxing space. All right, so for me, a monochromatic color scheme is very calm and relaxing to me. It's very cohesive and it's not jarring. <laughs> it's very cohesive and not jarring to the eye. So for some examples, I saw these photos on Pinterest, which are very calm, relaxing. They use colors of varying shades of gray as well as incorporating a little bit of black. And so that's what I have done in my home. Black and white are my signature colors, but gray is a shade of black mixed with white. So now you see where I'm going. So I just wanted to show you how I am using gray as a monochromatic color here in my family room. So I don't like a lot of color. It just, I don't know, it gives me anxiety. So. That is why you will see my home is decorated in a calming neutral palette using grays and black and white, which those colors I think are timeless and elegant and they never go out of style. And then I will accent or ac and then I will accent um, the area with pops of color, typically with green, but sometimes I might bring in a, a, a new color. So I'm gonna take you around, show you how I've put things together. I hope you enjoy today's video content, and if so, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do, because I have a lot more home decorating inspiration coming up soon. So let me take you around my family room. All right, so as you come in through the front door, this is the entryway, this is what you see. And as we go through, I am going from a gradual black and white transitioning into gray. So you see the black and white here on my entryway with the black and white paintings, the lamps. And then as we go into the living room, it transitions into gray and black. So, I wanted to keep things cohesive, so I found this rug on Amazon, and I wanna say it was around $200, maybe just a little bit more than that, 250, but it incorporates the colors that I use here in my home, which is the gray, white, black, and silvers. So the rug picks up all of the tones that I am using in my home, and then the couch. So the couch, is our statement piece in the room. It's a very large sectional and it's in a charcoal gray color. So because the couch is dark, I want it to keep the rug a little lighter in color, but still pull out those colors also from the couch. So the couch came from Haverty's um, several years ago. I don't know if you can still find it, but we love it. Um, it seats a lot of people when we have guests over and parties, so I absolutely love that. To ground the space, I have this large coffee table. It's glass, um, mirrored, and I wanted to bring in more light because the couch is dark. So the coffee table came from Overstock several years ago, 
and I've talked about this before on my channel um, it was similar to one that was featured from Z Gallery several years ago um, I picked this up from Overstock it was a little pricey um, at that time it was $500 I want to say but I absolutely love it I love you know how it grounds the space and I have just decorated it with very simple items so Tom Ford book here which is black and white I also have this abstract sculpture which came from home goods it was 1999 the Tom Ford book I want to say it was a present but at the time it was a little expensive I want to say it's a hundred dollars but you can get it for a lot less now the selenite bowl came from home goods and I want to say yeah it was on clearance for $15 absolutely love it it's because selenite is easily chipped as you can see but I still like the bowl, so I went ahead and picked it up. And then I have my little match cloche here from CB2 and a candle that I will light in the evenings to give it a little ambiance. I have this petrified wood piece that is also in black. It came from Home Goods. I want to say it was around $20. And then we have this made for living coffee table book, which is in gray. So again, I'm incorporating the black and gray and white. And it gives an aesthetically pleasing look to the eye, but because there are different colors, it brings in some contrast. Now, I do like to bring in some bright metallics. Again, I consider myself modern with a touch of glam. This vase is abstract in design. I just love the detail in it. It came from Home Goods. It was like $40, a little more than I would normally pay but I love that it made a statement and I have just added some greenery with some white blossoms from Amazon. The greenery came from Amazon. I want to say it was six or seven stems for around $20. The flowers, believe it or not, came from Walmart. I did a video on how to create statement floral arrangements using flowers from Walmart. So if you missed that video, I will leave that linked in the description box down below as well, along as in the iCards above if you care to check that out. And then I like to use a tray to corral all of my things. Um, I think it just looks more aesthetically pleasing when things are corralled. So I have this decorative box that came from Amazon that I keep our remotes in. I have this book from Amazon. It's called Elements of Style. I like the black and white design and the aesthetic. Again, it's giving a statement look. And I also did a video comparing Amazon to Pottery Barn. You can find a lot of nice things from Amazon that are very similar to Pottery Barn that you can get for a lot less money to give you the Lux Look For Less. You guys know I'm all about the Lux Look For Less. So if you missed that video, I will leave that linked in the description box down below, as well as in the art cards above as well. So this little um, C table came from Yita Home. It was a collaboration that I did with them. It's perfect when I wanna sit here and do some editing, have a glass of tea or a glass of wine. And I just love, you know that it's a smaller table and doesn't take up a lot of space it is going so again we're going from the black to the glass and chrome and i think it looks very pleasing you guys know i love my zebra print i love black and white so this pillow came from amazon and i picked it up last year when i was doing my modern safari theme and i am going to continue that this year but this year i'm calling it modern safari and we're po and possibly doing a modern chic style so the pillow was uh again from amazon it was twenty dollars and i just like the way it looks here again combining the black and gray for a monochromatic look here in my family room and i don't want to point you that way because the lights are coming through the curtain and it's giving a weird light, so we're not going to do that. We're going to go over here. Um, this um, throw came from Amazon. Um, I want to say it was around $40 at the time, but again, it's incorporating the black and gray, and it ties everything together. This pillow came from Z Gallery. Again, black and gray and white. 
tying everything together. These pillows came from Amazon, but they're very similar to some that are currently being sold on Z Gallery for a lot less, for a lot more money, I should say. You can see the texture and the pillows. Absolutely love the design. So again, carrying the black, white, and grays. And normally I have black velvet curtains here in my family room, but I wanted to lighten it up for spring and summer this year. So I wanted to bring in some white curtains and I tried to bring in white curtains, but they kept throwing a yellow tinge and I didn't like that at all. So I changed them out and I got these, they're called like a, a white, white gray curtain from Amazon. Amazon is a really nice place to get some really nice curtains. Um, if you can see that, like, I need to steam them. I haven't done that yet, and I apologize. Again, I have a cold. But, and I have just paired them with these white shears, and again, bringing in the white and the gray and the black, and also ties in very nicely with the painting here that I got from Grandin Road. Again, just a very nice, aesthetically pleasing look to my family room using monochromatic colors. Um, the chandelier I talked about in my last video. Again, it's bringing in the gray and the chrome. And then the dark furniture. I don't mind those cords, that's for my computer. It just adds in the glam factor here in the room. And then over here on this wall, I have these bookcases that I picked up from Sears before it went out of business years and years ago. And I just love them. They remind me of those um, cabinets that you can see at our house and Restoration Hardware. Um, they're similar in that style, but smaller in stature. But it still, again, gives me the luck look, the luxe look for less. And because the cabinets are dark, I want the items inside to pop. So I have used all items that are white in color, as you can see. And then again, adding in the gray, I have added this Monopoly book that I picked up from Home Goods and added the little Monopoly car, which I think it was like $16 or $17 at the time. But again, it gives me the look that I want. And then the fireplace is one that I picked up from Overstock. It was a simple white fireplace, and all I did was add my own glass mosaic tile, also in black and gray as you can see with crushed glass that gives it you know a modern aesthetically pleasing appearance and then the little um what is this fire oh, i can't screen the fire screen came from amazon it was around 50 dollars, and then the lanterns which are similar to excuse me ones that you might see at restoration hardware or cb2 um, they came from Target and they were $50, no, $40 a piece. So again, this is how I have created the monochromatic look and feel here in my family room. So I talked to you about keeping things neutral, but I do use a pop of color. So on this side of the wall, I am using these canvases that I picked up from Burlington's to give us a statement wall with a pop of color, but again, it's very muted color. So we have the blacks inside, as you can see with a little bit of gray, we have our white and then the gold and green. So I will bring in a little bit of gold from time to time. But as I said, my boyfriend doesn't like gold in breasts, but when it's in, in, when it's in moderation, he doesn't really care. Um, but yeah, I like to keep things calm soothing and neutral so this is what this side of the room looks like and i think everything just ties together perfectly and creates that perfect monochromatic color scheme that i love the walls are also in a very neutral palette the color is agreeable gray. I don't know if you can tell the color or not, but it's a very light kind of taupey looking gray that works really well here with all of the other gray elements in the room. And I absolutely love it and I hope you do as well. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. 
Again, do you decorate in a monochromatic style? What are your colors? Do you use a lot of color, not a lot of color? Um, I prefer not a lot of color. That's just me, but leave me a comment down below. But leave me a comment down below and let me know what colors you use in your home. So if you have enjoyed today's video and it has given you some inspiration, please make sure to give the video a big thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would so appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button, tap the notification bell, become a member of the I Style My Style family. I would so love to have you. So with that, my friends, let's take one last look around and I hope to see you in the next one.